In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Proton Drive. Now, Proton Drive offers free and encrypted cloud storage, and I'm going to show you how you can use it and how you can get this set up. So for free, you will get up to five gigabytes. If you go to proton.me forward slash drive and sign up for a new Proton Mail account, because I already have an account, I'm going to sign in and use the service. Now, everything I show you in this video will be using the free plan. They do also have paid plans available. Okay, so when you first sign in to Proton Drive, you're going to get this welcome message. You can click start using Proton Drive. And by default, I currently have two gigabytes. If you sign up with a free email, I do believe you will get five gigabytes. Now you can get more storage in the bottom left hand corner and if you've used Google Drive before you'll know the interface is similar. For one month it is going to be four euros and 99 cent and you'll get 200 gigabytes of storage, one email addresses, a VPN connection as well and support and then you can upgrade for business and so on. Now to actually use it it's pretty easy and it's pretty simple. So go to new and then you can either upload a file or a folder or you can actually create folders. So let's say we wanted to create a knowledge base folder and run the knowledge base channel through it. I could click new folder and I'll type in knowledge base and we can create and then we can go inside of this folder and then add more files. We could also add them by going to our file explorer and then finding the files we wanted to add. So let's say we wanted to add week 34's videos we could go ahead and upload those, provided they will be less than two gigabytes, which I think they will be. You'll see the status of those, and once they've been completed, you will have this percentage bar go to 100. If you wanted to share the files, once they were done uploading, you can right click on a specific folder, you can then click share, and you can, just like Google Drive, you can invite people via a link by turning this on, and if you then copy this link, you can give this to someone, and people will be able to either view it, or you can set them as an editor by inviting them via an email. So if you wanted to enter someone's email here, you can invite them and send them an invite link. So those are the basic features. You can also use it for photos as well. And you'll see all of your shared with me files and folders here. But that's how to do it. I hope that quick video gave you an overview. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.